Hello and welcome to this short video where today I'm going to show you how we can set up a creep assessment for your equipment in our inspect program. My name is Matt Hyland and I'm the general manager here at Codeware. So in front of you we have a tall tower made out of carbon steel. Uh, the cylinders are made out of SA516 grade 70 and we're going to use this as an example. So let's say we had an operational upset that ultimately resulted in our operating temperature going into the creep range. Now for 516 grade 70, our upper limit per 2D is 750 degrees Fahrenheit, but let's say we did go up to 800, for example, and we want to see, was there any creep damage? Do I need to take this out of service? Or does further analysis need to be done? So what you'll do is simply come up to the API 579 menu right here, and you'll come down and you'll select the part 10 creep assessment. Now I've actually gone ahead and set this up, so I'll just click away here. And once it gets added, you'll see it gets added along here to our toolbar. So you got your long scenes, your creep damage, and if uh, fire damage is present, it's there as well. So I'll select the creep damage option, and it opens up the dialog. Now this is also a very useful assessment if you are, for example, looking at a fire occurrence, and maybe the fire got into a very high heat affected zone, and now you want to perform a creep assessment on that equipment as well. So they kind of go hand in hand that way. So the dialog is set up very simple. You can set this up for a single occurrence in the creep range or multiple as well and enter in the data. We're just going to look at a single occurrence today. And then you can set this up worst case for the entire vessel or you can do specific components. So if you just want to look at a cylinder or a nozzle or a cylinder with the nozzle, you can do it. But since we're here, let's assume worst case scenario so we can have a look at what you'll get in the output report when we run everything. Then from here, there'll be things such as your uh, description. You've got an excursion date, so you want to know what date did this operation actually happen. And you've got your excursion pressure, temperature, which again, I'm setting up at 800 degrees. And we've got your excursion duration and future expected duration. So if this happens again, for example, or this might be something that happens, uh, what's the future hours there? Then there'll be things such as your future corrosion allowance, your loss to date, and if you have the information available, you can enter in your Brunel hardness as well as your carbon content. And that's it. That's all we need to do to set up a creep assessment for level one. So I'll go ahead and click OK. And let's go ahead and run the report. So again, I'm going to run a creep assessment on this entire vessel. So you can see I've got many cylinders, heads, many, many nozzles on here. So we're going to run through all of it. So you simply come up and click on the F3 button. And now we've come to the output report. So I click the F3 button. Now I have a professional report available to me without having to copy and paste anything like that. So on the left, you're going to have summary reports. And if you've watched any of these videos before, we've got full detailed calculations of all the components for this tower. But what we're going to do is click on the creep assessment summary right here at the top. And here's the creep report. So again, everything is nicely laid out for you um, right here. And I want to run all the components so you can see the power of using the inspect software. So you can see here all of the identifiers. Every component on here, you can see on the side here what's your maximum permissible time based on screening curve and whether or not it passes the assessment. So for example, if you want to click on, let's say let's have a look at cylinder one, it was on the top. It'll bring it down here and you can go through the detailed calculations. Everything's detailed out here so you can follow on exactly what inspect is doing. So for example, the uh, basic information here, you've got the stress calculations for cylinder number one, and we've also given you the curves from API 579 so you can verify for yourself where we're getting these values from. For example, there's the figure 10.3b for your damage rate. Everything is laid out nice and neat for you to follow along. And that's really it. That's all we need to do to set up a creep assessment for level one. So if you want to switch back to the model, Simply click on the, the report icon, and you're back at the model. If you need to go look at the creep inputs again, you can also do that as well. So within a matter of minutes, you can get uh, either simple componentry modeled or the entire vessel and set up a creep assessment and have a professional looking report for you to make the engineering decision on what uh, steps need to be taken to either put this back into service or to look at further analysis as well. I'd like to thank you for watching this short video. If you have any questions about the capabilities of Inspect and how we can help you, please email sales at cobra.com or give us a call at 941-927-2670.